build against a future tsunami. We have to be very cautious and we have to take a lesson from the, from the past. In a dry dock 40 kilometers from the Bosphorus, the 11 segments that will connect east and west are being constructed. A single segment weighs 18,000 tons, and at around 150 meters, each one is longer than a football field. The tunnel is itself designed to absorb the impact of an underwater earthquake, measuring up to 7.5 on the Richter scale. Şu anda üzerinde bulunduğumuz tüp elemanı tüp boğaz tüp geçiş elemanlarının içerisinde sonuncusudur. En sonuncusu bu eleman 11 numara. Boğaza batırılan bu parçalar e, boğazda e, şu elemanlar aracılığıyla e, şu contalar aracılığıyla birbirine bağlanıyor. Birbirine sızdırmaz hale ve ortaya çıkan bu 1400 metrelik tünel hattının e, sismik jointleri var giriş ve son uçlarında. Dolayısıyla bütün bu sistem depremde yarım metre hareket edecek şekilde e, inşa edilmiş olmaktadır. Inside this segment, Adnan makes some last-minute checks before it's submerged. It will be floated into position above the drop location, where a series of ballast tanks will be filled to sink it to the seabed. For Adnan and his team, this isn't just a piece of engineering, it's an historic moment. Böylece İstanbul Boğazı'nın altından ilk kez bu büyüklükte bir tünel, bir geçiş sağlanmış oldu. Bu belki 200-250 yıldır e, insanımızın bir hayaliydi. E, bu gerçekleşmiş oldu. E, tam bu nokta işte, bu tüneli Avrupa tarafına bağlayan ucudur. The Marmara project is in the final stages of its construction. Many of its fundamental design features will have been informed by past disasters. Post the Channel Tunnel collapse, the Marmaray project will be protected from fire by a layer of thermal insulation. From the Mont Blanc fire comes the most powerful ventilation system in the world to control smoke. And the archaeological lessons of history bring a system of seismic joints to resist the effects of an earthquake. Above all, the Marmaray system's engineers are determined to eliminate truck driver error. Under the Bosphorus, two parallel rail tunnels will carry only high-speed trains. Truck shuttle trains will eventually pass through the tunnel, but trucks with flammable loads have to cross the Bosphorus by ferry. Despite all the challenges to construction, the tunnel project is back on track and due to open in 2012. Ten of the eleven tunnel segments have now been laid. At a depth of 58 meters, the tunnel has to be able to withstand six times the atmospheric pressure at sea level. For the immersed tunnel project manager, Hideki Sakaida, the tunnel is a new silk route between Europe and Asia. Then we are now uh, walking towards the European side. So we can say now we are walking uh, in the new Silk Road. The east and west are almost connected. Tunnels are on the brink of a new era. In many countries, a new movement has begun that aims to use tunnel technology not just to connect people and places, but to construct whole new worlds underground. As the planet becomes more crowded, its infrastructure has to adapt. Some design engineers believe tunnels could become more than merely a means of carrying people, goods and vehicles from A to B. Amsterdam and Holland is one city fighting a very modern battle for more space. The city is in crisis. If cars are prevented from entering the historic city centre, the local economy will die. If the crowding continues, the city could become a polluted wasteland. Civil engineer Baz Obladen has a vested interest in solving the problem. 
I was born in Amsterdam and when I was young, that's so 60 years ago, it was a very nice town to, to be and to live there. And the quality of life was also uh, very nice in those days. And say uh, eight years ago or so, I went with my son. I said, I will show you the places where your father uh, have been uh, born and where he lived. I was shocked about what I saw. Everywhere there were cars and, and, and bikes and it was terrible in my opinion. Baz's vision is to remove cars from the roads and canal sides. And using tunneling technology, take them below ground. If the cars are, say, under the ground uh, at the moment, then you get uh, fresh air uh, above the ground, so people are living longer, people, the quality of life is very nice, and alongside the canals there are no cars. Amsterdam's canals provide the blueprint. The engineers on the current north-south tunnel dig under Amsterdam are developing techniques that will help realise the new project. The uh, main challenge in this area is the, the softness of the soil. We have to uh, try to maintain a, a stable environment for the drill to go through. So what we do is we drill 90 meter long poles that will be uh, used for a brine solution that will cool down the entire soil and thus creating a, a frozen, like a permafrost layer through the total width of the two drilling machines. As the technology has developed, so has the ambition. The idea is uh, not to make tunnels to a destination and then connect different destinations. So we say if you build a connection, why not make it a useful space? So it's all about really making a very big space. It's like the doubling of the floor space which is in the centre of Amsterdam. The design would not only provide much needed parking, massive underground spaces would house cinemas, squash courts and even swimming pools. Those behind the Amsterdam project are conscious that whatever the space is used for, safety lessons from past tunnel disasters still have to be applied. For the fire safety, we are really looking into the possibilities of compartmentation and that you are always within a reasonable amount to walk to a safe place. So if something happens in your vicinity, you can like hold your breath and how many meters can I walk? Well, there would be a door. That is basically where we start from. And there are now materials which can really keep the fire on the other side of the doors. For now, the Amsterdam dream of building urban spaces below the city streets is in the early planning stages. But in Turkey, the Marmaray Tunnel project is fast becoming a reality. It is uh, always difficult uh, to construct a mega project in an urban, densely populated area. But once it is in operation, Marmaray project will save a lot of travel time and make the uh, lives of more than one million passengers per day more comfortable. Throughout its lifetime, the Marmaray Tunnel will face a double jeopardy of fire and seismic shock. But with the legacy of past tunnel disasters designed into its very fabric, it's being built to confront and overcome whatever challenges the future might bring. Next